Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Okay, so um, it has been a slow Saturday that was anticipated. Um, I highlighted before that we are in a fourth wave, most likely a fourth wave is typically very slow. So because not much happened and there is no change to the higher degree price action and the bigger context, I, in this video, I just want to focus here on the lower degree price action. We're going to take a look at how this fourth wave could develop. At the moment, I have a possible three wave move to the upside. Yeah, this looks like three waves. Um, the move down looks corrective as well. The standard pattern that we would normally expect in a fourth wave is an ABC structure. Typically in a fourth wave, we expect a so-called flat correction, which is a so-called sideways correction or alternatively a triangle. So basically either an A wave, a B wave that should be quite deep and then a C wave to the upside or a triangle, which also consists of three waves to the upside, three waves down, three waves up, three waves down, three waves up, and then it should follow through. Yeah, and you've got that triangle shape here. Okay, so they are made basically the two key options that we have here, either an ABC flat or a triangle. Um, of course, it could be a standard zigzag pattern, which means we have an impulse in the A wave. The B wave would be shallow and then the C wave. Um, but that is typically quite rare in a wave four, but it, it happens as well. So what we need to understand is what is, you know, wh how could this unfold? Now, corrective patterns, they always come down to interpretation. They vary a lot and they morph a lot into different corrective patterns. So what is more important than trying to understand every single wave in a corrective pattern, more important in my opinion is to understand what is the key resistance level that is relevant here. And the key resistance that we have for this fourth wave is sitting between the 23.6 FIP level between 1790. Now we already are above that level. So that is not that relevant anymore. What is most, much more relevant, however, is the 38.2 retracement. That's typically an ideal target for a fourth wave. That's at 1818 in this case. And then we've got the next one, this 50% retracement at 1841 and the 61.8 retracement at 1864. Um, normally I would not consider the golden ratio, the 61.8 retracement for a fourth wave, but because I can't consider the entire move down as an ending diagonal and in an ending diagonal, Fibonacci levels sometimes are maximized and you typically get um, an overlap between wave one and wave four in a diagonal, uh, I added the 61.8 retracement level as well. Yeah. So this is resistance. Um, important would be to understand that basically the wave four here will provide some challenges for trading. I would not personally trade it um, just the wave four because again, it's a wave four. It could be um, a flat pattern. So it already rallied a bit. The B wave will be unpredictable because the B wave, if it's a flat pattern, because the A wave was in three waves, the B wave can do a lot of stuff. It can be short, it can be long. If it's long, it can overshoot to the downside, giving you the false impression of a breakout to the downside, whereas it might just be a B wave, which would, which would rally afterwards in a C wave. Yeah. So just be aware of that. B waves can lead to false breakouts, and that is what often is frustrating. So at the moment, my view is that at least an first corrective wave was complete. Yeah. And that we are now in the second corrective wave, which would be the B wave. Again, this is the most difficult wave. Typically, um, I would say that with a good likelihood, I mean, if we break above today's high, which was here at 1818, I think then we have a good chance to already be in the C wave. But until then, it's probably B wave time and that can be extremely difficult. So just be aware of that. Um, at the moment, the primary expectation is still another wave down, especially as long as we stay below that larger B wave low here, um, which is at 1889. However, if we break above 1864, which is resistance for the fourth wave, and then also above 1889, we may have to consider that an overall low is already in. At present, I would still expect one more low here in the wave five. Okay, that's my update about Ethereum. Uh, I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching.
拜。